Small business owners know that menial tasks are a waste of time, but do not always have the time to investigate how to best eliminate, automate, or outsource these critical but repetitive functions. To exacerbate the problem, enterprise tools exist for effectively every single operation that a business performs. There are so many tools for each operation in a business that it can be difficult to choose between the options, especially when the tool functionality and costs are difficult to understand until after they have been deployed. To cut through some of the opacity surrounding these tools, this series will present tools that can impact a small business by presenting their function, cost, and potential return having experienced them firsthand. This series will focus on tools useful for small enterprise, and will directly address the upfront implementation costs and costs of operating them to provide the reader with a concise view of the utility of the tool presented. Have you lost sleep wondering whether your organizational data was secure? Is the information that makes your organization valuable one dropped laptop or errant keystroke away from popping out of existence? Is data stored on individual employees' computers and not localized? What happens if you or an employee is out of commission unexpectedly? IDG estimated that small businesses managed 48 terabytes of data in 2015, estimated to double by 2016, so assume that number is much larger by now. Unless you have spent thousands of dollars on a local server to store all of your data, bets are you are either already using a cloud storage service, or allowing your organizational data to exist haphazardly across several computers and platforms. Given the data-centric demands of business today, it is difficult for me to imagine not employing a cloud service to centralize data, share documents, and mitigate losses of both. It is estimated that small instances of data loss, 100 files, cost businesses an average of tens of thousands of dollars, while larger ones, greater than 100 million files, can cost tens of millions of dollars. Cloud storage platforms exist mainly to provide a location to securely store data without having to own and or manage the hardware associated with storing bits and bytes. As these storage options become more viable and integral to the function of business as usual, prices continue to drop. The internal efficiency of cloud data centers is easy to conceptualize given their economies of scale, with WSP estimating a 90% reduction in waste compared to traditional small business data center management. One of several options in the cloud storage marketplace is Box. Box is a little special in that it is specifically designed for business use and has several features that separate it from the pack. Box provides individual users of an enterprise account with unique access to different folders based on the administrator's authorization. The data is accessed through the Box web application, or the Box Drive application can be locally installed to computers for a direct link to the account. Viewing the Box account, especially through Box Drive, is effectively identical to viewing folders on your local computer, but if the files are not all stored locally, allowing access to a quantity of data that could not be stored on an individual computer. The folder hierarchy within Box is completely customizable. The ease of authorization to different folders means Box can be readily organized at a business level if you have sensitive information or need tight document control. Individuals that have not been granted access to folders or files do not even have the ability to see that the file exists in the account, so while it is important to correctly administer files and folders to the right individuals, one can rest easy when hosting sensitive documents. One of the nicest features of Box is that folders can be shared with external email addresses so that data can be exchanged without having to send the data directly. This has been useful for providing large data sets and documents slash presentations with outside groups without having to give access to the larger Box account. Box is available as a mobile app, Android, iOS, Windows Phone and Blackberry, which makes viewing files remotely or on the fly easy. It also provides a very simple way to upload photos directly to relevant folders without having to shuffle files from device to device and folder to folder. If you're concerned with security in a cloud storage system, Box is effectively as good as it gets when it comes to encryption, 256 AES, and has been recommended to a higher level than products like Google Drive, 
when considering file sensitivity. The pains of using Box are not unique compared to other cloud services. The act of using cloud storage removes data one or more layers further from your RAM, which increases the time required to perform any computation on that data. Box Drive attempts to alleviate this by locally caching recently used documents on your local computer. If you find that you regularly are using data that is not locally stored you can choose to locally store specific files and folders, allowing their use offline while maintaining their up-to-date status when connected. This was helpful when integrating some R scripts with a large number of Excel sheets, when stored locally the compute time was cut by three orders of magnitude, taking a process from 10 minutes down to a fraction of a second. One of the issues with many cloud services is the offline nature of working with many of the documents, then uploading these documents and getting conflicting versions. Box increments versions with the uploader's user identification information and always stores old versions so that they can be recovered. It can also be integrated with Microsoft Office Online to work in real time on documents, however, this feature is not in league with the live document features present in Google Suite. Box pricing is tied to number of users, starting at $5 per person per month, and going up to an enterprise version at $35 per person per month. The four levels of service are delineated by how much storage you require, number of users, integration to other enterprise apps, and generally has more data safety and security features at higher tiers. This makes for a strong insurance plan against data loss, which not only costs more, but is effectively all paid at once. For our entry-level enterprise package baselined at $565 per year, but be careful because it increases as you add users. Be sure to check your agreement to understand the incremental cost structure. You can also always downgrade to the free version if you don't want to resubscribe in future. We have also used ShareSync, SharePoint, Dropbox, and Google Drive which are direct competition to Box. I would certainly recommend Box and you have a need to be secure, and are turned off by the notion of entrusting your data to an information gathering service such as Google. If you have no such aversions, and value collaborative compatibility, you may find Box a little clunky at times. Whether Box is right for you is your choice, but I think there are few organizations that would not see a benefit from using cloud storage institutionally. If you enjoyed this video, please click, like, and subscribe to our channel for future series videos from OPSQC Incorporated. Be well, be safe and be productive.